A chino is a chino is a chino is a chino, right? Well, not exactly. These hard wearing tool trousers of military origins are often touted as a dressed up alternative to jeans. But that's a sweeping statement that leaves little room for nuance. And if you're at least half as interested as I am about menswear, you'd want to dig deeper and think of formality as a spectrum, where different aspects of the chinos can influence where it lies on the spectrum. As always, the devil's in the details and understanding which details give a more casual or formal look can help you in making a better purchase for your lifestyle. Before we start, as a general principle, the lesser the contrast and the cleaner the line, the more formal the chinos, and vice versa. I'll show you what I mean. Let's get to it. A full cut chino is more formal than a slim fit chino. Likewise, a slim fit chino is more formal than a skinny chino. A fuller cut doesn't pull the fabric in awkward ways or cause unnatural creases, and so has fewer areas of tension and drapes better. Thus, it has cleaner lines compared to a slim fit chino, where creases often form at the crotch, hips, and knees, and even more so on skinny chinos. This is also why chinos with a higher rise are typically more formal as the higher rise allows more room for the fabric to drape. Similarly, pleated chinos, if ironed properly, will have a continuous line from the waistband to the hem, and is thus more formal than flat front chinos where the center crease only starts from the hip line and ends at the hem. Darker colors like navy, olive, and dark brown are more formal than their lighter counterparts. Again, this is the case as darker colors hide creases better and give the illusion of a cleaner line. Colors aside, whether due to it having a more pronounced pure line, melanchians, or one that's gum and wash, will create more contrast and is thus more casual. There are probably hundreds or thousands of stylistic permutations, but if you understand the principles mentioned earlier, you'll easily understand which details are more casual or formal. For instance, side adjusters result in a cleaner waistline and are more formal than belt loops. A gold side adjuster on a khaki chino has lesser contrast and is thus more formal compared to a khaki chino with a silver side adjuster, which has a higher contrast. Next, assuming that the rise and inseam are the same, a shorter waistband height visually lengthens the leg line more compared to a taller waistband. Thus, the latter is more casual. Side note, an extended waistband looks more visually pleasing than a non-extended one as it follows the rule of thirds. Also, a front pocket can be made more casual with puckering along the seams. On the back, a welted pocket is more formal than a patch pocket, but can be made more formal with one less pocket or no pocket at all. Similarly, cuffs slightly interrupt the leg line and are more casual than a chino without cuffs. And the higher the cuffs, the more casual the chinos. Of course, each of these variations assume that all other aspects of the chinos are equal. But in reality, it's difficult to compare just one aspect and keep all other things equal. More often than not, some characteristics are associated with one another. You'll often find pleated chinos with side adjusters and cuffs, belt loops on your more brand flat front chinos, and military style chinos being garment dyed, having a coin pocket and a button fly. Though you can often bypass these exceptions by going custom, but that's another video. All of these to say that if you carefully consider each detail and how it affect the whole, you'll know where each chino will lie on the formality spectrum. For instance, your typical skinny chinos have plenty of disrupted lines, and so it goes to the casual end here. Then one level above is a slim chino, then perhaps a high-rise pleated chino in a casual twill, then one in final twill, and another with side adjusters. Of course, changing other factors like colors will affect where it lies on the spectrum too. But note that just because a chino has side adjusters or pleats or other formal details does not necessarily make it more formal if, say, it is offset by a casual twill that doesn't lay entirely flat after ironing or other casual details. Instead, you should consider holistically how clean the overall look of the chinos are, and not just one aspect of the fit, fabric, or details. You really should only do the latter if all other aspects are relatively the same. Okay, so armed with this knowledge, depending on how much congruence or contrast you want to create in your outfits, you can, for example, match the puckering on the pocket seam along with other casual details, with a denim jacket for greater harmony, or or instead pair the jacket with pleated chinos made from fine twill to create a high-low effect. There's no right or wrong here and it all depends on the effect that you want to achieve. Anyway, that's all I have on chinos. Like this video if you found it helpful and let me know in the comments what your perfect pair of chinos look like. And as always, stay subtle.